Our world is rife with mysteries and enigmas. Through the years, a myriad of wondrous events have occurred and thousands of amazing discoveries have been made. We can never be quite sure what lies beyond the horizon. Between archaeological wonders and the rapid development of technology, there is an unbound potential for our future. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at recent discoveries. Scientists have discovered microplastics in live human lungs for the first time. If there is one thing we love to prove, the impossible is impossible. And that is exactly what this next discovery is all about. Bloomberg themselves headline this as something that was once thought impossible. But sure enough, scientists have discovered microplastics in live human lungs for the first time. With the airway passages in the deepest parts of our lungs being so narrow, it has long been thought that it would simply not be possible for microplastics to be found there. Not only are these airways thought to be too narrow, especially when considering the size of particles found, but the lungs have natural filtration processes which medical professionals also expect to stop microplastics from entering the lower part of living lungs. It must be noted that microplastics have been found in human lungs before, but only ever in cadavers from autopsy samples, never before in a living human being. It's currently thought that their discovered presence deep in the lungs is due to increasing inhalation of microplastics, for example, from air pollution. As such, this discovery would advance medical knowledge of how plastics enter the body and how deep inside us they can get, but also make us more aware of the importance of maintaining safe environmental standards. With 39 different microplastics found in 11 of the 13 lung tissues sampled, further studies will now be done into the impact these findings can have on our respiratory health and broader human health. It has now been revealed that surgeons from Castle Hill Hospital in East Yorkshire provided the lung tissue samples, collected unobtrusively from routine surgical procedures on living patients. Various lab tests then filtered out normal contents of the lung tissue to leave behind any miscellaneous matter. The types of microplastics found included 12 common ones found in the likes of packaging, bottles, clothing, rope or twine, and other aspects of manufacturing processes. The most abundantly found microplastic was polyethylene, which is usually from degraded plastics, nylon, resins, paints, etc. Interestingly, results also showed higher levels of microplastics in male lungs than female, although the reason for this is yet to be determined. As mentioned, the microplastics found were larger than ever expected, but scientists have confirmed that the discovered samples were of sizes and shapes which are inhalable to humans. The mystery of how has been answered, and with worsening air pollution, the why is not too far-fetched either. But nevertheless, questions around what else we think is impossible but is not, still remains. This LA startup is building tiny injectable robots to attack tumors. A medical miracle has been achieved in Los Angeles, California. Doctors have managed to create a microscopic mechanism that can be loaded with cancer-killing chemicals that can be injected straight into a tumor. This precise method could potentially save millions of lives and families. The tiny injectable robots work as a vehicle for the chemicals used to break down cancerous formations. Since these chemicals can be highly destructive, it is important to avoid contacting healthy cells with these chemicals. These microscopic injectable vehicles make this possible. The device is roughly the size of a breadcrumb and uses magnetic forces to steer through the body. Doctors on the outside intend to direct the machine to the source of a cancer hotspot and deliver the precise amount of antidote. This discovery could very well be a revolution to modern-day science as we know it. It has only been used so far to treat cancer, but the possibilities for the future are endless. What was once a seeming science fiction fairy tale is now being tested in hospitals around the globe. While it has not been used on the general public yet, it is moving to clinical trials in 2023 and is showing a lot of promise. The now famous Bionaut Labs have been able to take credit for their invention. Michael Spiegelmarker and Aviad Mazels are the co-founders of Bionaut Labs. Together they created the company in 2016 
with the mission in mind and they have not let up since. The company was founded with this sole intention in mind, dubbing themselves a remote control medical micro-robot startup. They very well may be the first company to see the technology used to treat everyday patients. The Trailblazers were granted $20 million in venture capital funding and employed technicians with previous experience in microscopic robotics and other precision manufacturing. They recognized the potential of their idea when studying the technique of current cancer treatment methods. They found that most drug treatment is facilitated through diffusion within the bloodstream. This creates a litany of complications as it requires a high dose to maintain its composition for delivery to the afflicted area. Not only that, but it also means that the entire body must feel the effects of the chemical pumping through their bloodstream. Spiegelmacher realized the pitfall of this method and stated, We wanted to just figure out a way to get there, to the afflicted area, instead of flooding a body with therapeutics. Earth's core is growing lopsided, and scientists don't know why. From far away, Earth looks pretty symmetrical. And although our home planet might spin on a little bit of a tilt, you would be hard-pressed to find anyone who thinks the Earth was shaped weirdly. But scientists now understand that our planet's core is growing lopsided, and they are not entirely sure why. The discovery comes after data revealed that the Earth's core is losing heat in greater amounts under Indonesia than Brazil, and this is having effects on the seismic waves passing through the core. Seismic waves and tremors made by earthquakes are the only way scientists can really see the Earth's core, and what scientists can identify is that waves passing across the equator move much slower than those across the poles. This has been known about for decades, in fact it is called seismic anisotropy. But now researchers believe that a recent study shows that the core's lopsidedness is the culprit. According to the report, every year the Earth's core grows slightly more lopsided, meaning that its iron crystal forms faster on its eastern side than its west. The movement of liquid iron in the outer core carries heat away from the inner core, causing it to freeze, lead study author Daniel Frost said. So this means that the outer core has been taking more heat from the east side under Indonesia than the west under Brazil. One image to use to visualize this odd growth is that of a tree trunk. The rings of the tree grow from a central point, but it is rare that the central point is actually in the center of the tree. This results in one side growing faster than the other. If you were to cut the earth in half, you might see a similar thing. Still, scientists were keen to point out that the asymmetric growth does not mean the earth's inner core is strangely shaped, and it does not mean there is any risk of imbalance. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.